all right guys well i'm down here at the new deer lease uh just to let y'all know this is about eight miles east of eola and i'm about 11 miles north of eden in between eden and uh, paint rock balancer area so seem like it's pretty good deer country so far anyway this ain't gonna be the best edited video i'm more in work mode than i am in video mode this weekend so i might just carry around a little handheld camera and uh just kind of let y'all see what we got going on so let me spin this sucker around and uh, I'll show you what we got done so far. All right, got the trailer set in today. Got a little goat fence built around it. Landowner's gonna have sheep until close to opening raffle season. So I'll have to deal with a little sheep for a little while. So we got a little containment fence put up today. It's only like 102, so it really wasn't that big of a deal today. All right, let's take a little cruise and uh, give y'all a little look of the land here. All right, well here's gonna be stand number one. This is gonna be on the northern end of the property. Uh, this property is uh, just right at about 200 acres and uh, 30 of it is in a wheat field or will be uh, to be planted here in october uh, we'll take a look at it next let me spin this around and let you see what we got and let you know what the plan is all right just a pretty simple feeder set up with the round pins the round pins were already here uh, i'm hoping once the sheep get moved out of here i'll pull some of these panels off to give me a better bow shot uh, it's going to go tough with them panels there. Anyway, here's this stand. There was an existing rifle blind. Looks like everybody that's hunted here before were rifle hunters. There's a decent blind back there. It's in fairly good shape. Needs a little work. But I will be setting up a uh, tripod tower right back in here, up in this cover. I'll show you the tower here in a minute when we get over to it. It was an old tower blind. I'm going to knock the top of it off and make uh, more of a tripod type of setup for archery. Anyway, got some pretty good cover back there. Trees aren't very tall, so I'll have to do a little trimming and wiring some branches to the tripod to help give me a little extra cover. But that's West Texas. It'll work. Now how is that for a bow shot? That will be zero tracking right there. <laughs> no, I ain't got that thing finished yet. I just got it hauled in and set up from the other deer lease. Uh, that blind's got so much crap in it, I don't even think I could climb in there at the moment. I just had to throw everything in it and haul it down here. But this is the wheat field I was talking about. Mr. Lloyd's gonna get this thing planted uh, in wheat here pretty soon. This will be a uh, rifle setup if we choose to right there, but gonna be more probably scouting. May do a bow setup back here in the corner where the trees are and see if you can't catch some coming in. But uh, really gonna try not to shoot any rifles out here, make it just bow only. The property line is back over here. And if you see, I got a high fence at those tree lines. That is the west side of the property and over on the east side of the property i have a high fence over there so that's awesome for me because the deer only have two ways to come in here they can come from the highway or they can come from the south so it'll be a 200 acre alleyway with a lot of thick cover so i'm hoping this is going to be a nice bedding area for these deer there is a lot of agriculture field around it and these two high fence properties beside me really ought to help funnel deer through here all right let's head on down the next one What you see here is that tower blind I was talking about. This will be my next project. 
this thing will get moved uh, over to the first feeder location I showed you and this will be my tripod setup. That old raggedy top I'm gonna knock it off and build a new pedestal base inside for two seats or one swivel bench seat and uh, there will not be any sides just be a bracket for my camera mount up there so it will be a, a bow hunting tripod type of setup and to the base of that it is about 12 feet tall so that ought to be pretty good for here that ought to make my sitting height about 14 feet 14 and a half feet so short as these trees are I don't really want to get much taller than that anyway so anyway let's head back to the next one This here will be feeder number two. This is on the southeast edge of the property. Uh, it's down here in the corner. Uh, pulled the cards on this today and uh, the feeder's been going for a week and a half and I've got quite a few bucks coming in. Several young bucks, juvenile bucks. But I got a, a few that look like they're, they're three years or older. So got some potential shooters. We'll just have to see how we're gonna manage throughout the year too early to determine what we'll do but we'll build a little hit list here and try to manage very conservatively probably may take more dough than anything this year but here's this stand another rifle blind back in the back it's gonna need some work uh, but it's it's usable but I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera but I have a tripod hidden right up in there that's how I intend to, to hunt this place. It's a uh, 30 yard shot to center of the feeder. So that ought to be reasonable. And all this area, this alleyway down to that deer blind and over to the west side, all the way around to the center of the south will be a food plot. That's what I'm fixing to do right now, start piling this up and get it ready. I sprayed two weeks ago. So we're gonna rough the ground up a little bit, spray again put down some lime and then uh, hopefully uh, do a little plowing again in two weeks three weeks run there somewhere and then we'll get our clover planted so really really excited about this spot back here all right let's see what we got dough Hey, there's some horns. Nice little young buck. Man, look at this deer. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Something has attacked this deer. These are some pretty nasty wounds right here. All along his neck. Looks like little claw marks or teeth marks. Huh. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, a lot of marks. The injuries look kind of old but I'm not sure bunch of raccoons hey there's some turkey there's that same buck you can see the little marks there he's shorter on this side if you notice his injuries are on his left side and it affected the rack on the right side. That tends to happen with deer for some reason. So it may be an older injury. There's him again. Same marks. Something streaking back there. That's a different buck here. 
Let's see if we can get a better picture. Well, he's pretty tall. He's young, though. Our wounded deer. There's another one back there. A little six point. There's some kind of antlers. Same buck. Go! Hello! If y'all can see that, there's a different one. Let's zoom in a little closer. Pretty nice. Pretty nice horns there. Decent sized body on that one. Go! <laughs> oh, mercy! Y'all see that? That is what we're looking for. You see how short that head is? How boxy it is? This deer is over three years old, no doubt. Dude, those G2s are really long. Man, that's not nice deer. That is exactly why I moved away from my lease. Oh, look at the fatty right there. Sorry about the glare. I'll post pictures of this later. These are not the greatest cameras. My good ones were at my other lease. Wow. That is a nine point. It's got a little crab claw on the left side. Pretty sweet. Oh, that is a fat deer. Let's see what else we got. that big one again that's the injured deer that's a different deer here a little young got a longer head pretty lean a lot of deer will get to watch and walk this year, man, but this deer right here, he's gonna be one of the one of the candidates for sure. Look how big his body is. He is eating good. There's this crab claw right there. Super nice looking deer. As of right now, that's my number one. Very nice deer. Very nice. That's it.